my body is a machine that turns $25 worth of scratch off tickets into $8. Welcome back, you lovely degenerates. It's me, Eyes. Today, we're uh, just kind of doing whatever I feel like. No subreddit attached to it. So let's just get right into it. Did you just make fun of my bionicle collection? I'll show you. Give me, give me just a minute. Why, why second? I see what I got here. Golf ball size kidney stones. Ooh, God, why are there pictures? Ooh, the prostate popper. Ooh, ooh, all right, no, not that one. Uh, ah, here we are. Testicular portion. I'll take 2,300. I, uh, I don't have 2,300. Uh, uh, any lower? <sighs> okay. If you pay today, I could probably swing two grand. Ha how um? How about uh um? How about a thousand dollars in a baby crocodile? So fun fact: in Adventure Time, drawing a soy jack opens a portal into hell. Oh my f god! <laughs> I mean, I mean, doesn't it already though? <laughs> so. My neighbor told me coyotes keep eating his outdoor cats, so I asked how many cats he has, and he said he just goes to the shelter and gets a new cat afterwards. <laughs> so I said it sounds like he's feeding the, <laughs> the shelter cats to the coyotes, and then his daughter started crying. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh no! So, so you all remember that Fallout 3 quest at Tenpenny Tower where you can convince the human residents to stop racially profiling ghouls and let them live in the tower, but, but then you come back like a week later and the humans have all been murdered and the ghouls threaten me when I ask about them. What did Todd mean by this? I, I gotta say, it's... It's really surreal hearing my own voice in pub ads before videos. It's... Ugh. Oh! So you're the woman interrupting my gay p Wow, man! Re real heroic with this one! Professor X used his telepathic power to enter Magneto's mind. He forced Magneto to remember the war. Magneto saw bombs falling. He saw his loved ones dying. No! No! He shouted, unable to bear the memories any longer. He had to escape. Dude, what the f <laughs> Good luck fighting me now, Magneto, while you inconsolably mourn the death of your children because I made you remember. Dude! <laughs> That's f up, man! Playing hide and seed. Me hiding. Mm. Werewolf boyfriend. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, I uh, is there like a word for like being racist but against furries? Because uh this post just made me that. R slash relationship advice. My I'm 21 male. Girlfriend, 19 female, refuses to act like a rat in the shower for me. <laughs> oh, oh no. For background, my girlfriend and I have been dating for a year now, and I love when she does random and quirky things. I have always found them funny and delightful. One time I managed to convince my girlfriend to act like a rat when we were showering together. Similar to this gif here. She agreed, and I laughed myself silly and clapped. <laughs> what? <laughs> and clapped while watching her. 
However, ever since then, I have been repeatedly requesting for her to act like a rat again, but she always refuses, saying it makes her embarrassed, even though it's just me and her, and she has never been afraid to do embarrassing things in front of me before. How can I convince her to do this funny little harmless thing for me again? Too long didn't read. My girlfriend refused refuses to entertain me in the shower. Good fucking God. I, I don't even know where to start. Babe, why are you refusing to belittle yourself in front of me in the shower? Dance like the rodent you are. Do it. Do it. What the f*** you mean no? I'm, I'm gonna tell everyone on Reddit that you said no. Who's laughing now? Sorry, I uh, sneezed and liked all of your pictures. It was uh, it was an honest mistake, I swear. Oh yeah, and is that why you also commented, "Yeah, mommy," on all of them? Is is that why? Uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I have the flu. It's it's a really bad case of uh, adipositis. Uh, it's it's quite deadly. <laughs> <laughs> it destroys families. Doctor says in 10 years time, humans will be able to live till the age of 120. Oh wait, sorry, I, I, I missed something. It's uh, live and work till the age of 120. What an interesting way to word that. Yeah, I, I, I I'm gonna be honest. Um, I don't want to do that. Honestly, people who say, huh, then answer without you repeating the question are psychopaths. Yeah, you don't gotta think too deep into it. It's not, it's not what you think. You just, just gotta let it load first. That's, that's all it is. See, th there's also the awkward part of someone says something to you, then you reflexively go, what? And then you process it, and then you have the mental dilemma of, do I respond and make myself look like an idiot, or do I wait for them to respond to avoid making this further awkward? That's... Hopefully I'm not alone here, because God, that'd be awkward if I was. Hey, uh, I, I got a bit of a... Uh, I, I got a bit of a question here. Why, why did the Dead by Daylight devs give the Xenomorph Queen so much ass? Hey... Oh, hold on, I gotta look something up! God damn! Oh, hold on, I I also gotta look something up. A, a, as well as I. Good lord! I don't know how to feel about this. I'm built different. Heh. Incorrectly, I... I, I am built incorrectly, and if I don't get help from someone real soon, something really bad is gonna happen. Hey, so, um, I I just wanted to say that I have a massive crush on you. I, I, I've been feeling this way for months now, and I think it's time I told you about my feelings. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Who is the other guy? Uh, oh, he's, he's here for moral support. What? Wait, wait, <laughs> are, are you for real? I'm here for you, man. Do your thing. Hey, in my opinion, fan service in anime wouldn't be bad if it wasn't always happening to middle school girls. If a grown man tripped and fell down the stairs and his pants ripped because of how tight they were over his huge round ass cheeks, and he was like, yeah. That'd be cool, but it, but it's always like 12 year old girls and not men with huge, giganto, baganzo asses. I don't even like superheroes. I just like seeing diversity on the big screen. I went to Harlem to see Spider-Verse a second time. I sat in the front row and rather than watch the film, I turned around, watched a young black boy. <laughs> I turned around, watched a young black boy. I watched his laughs and smiles. It was everything. I'm sorry, you, you what? Dude, how you see yourself versus what you really look like. 
You really just publicly said, I went to the movie theater to watch young boys. My, my, my guy. <laughs> what? Mildly interesting. They call it a username because you use your name in it. <laughs> This is, this is not why it's called that. It's called the username, and get this, because it's the name of the user. Isn't that fucking crazy? A story in two acts. I, I mean, it hurts, but I, I just, I just had to do it. AI art, actual artists. Look what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. See, I find it very ironic that you made this post without using your own art. And if we go and <laughs> look at the credits for Invincible, or just Google this person's name. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oops. All right, so the funniest part of Death Note was when Light thought, the police are spying on me through cameras in my room. I need them to think I'm a normal high school boy. And then he proceeded to read a magazine for like five minutes without cranking his chain. All oh, while laying on the bed like this. Like, like, dude, if Shinji can do it, you can do it, Light. Oh my god, that's so f***, didn't you? <laughs> Never mind! Wolfenstein. Nazis. Hashtag things I would ban. This fucking person. Injecting politics into games that stop the action like a Buick into a brick wall. Hashtag things I would ban. Um, buddy, friend, pal, it's fucking Wolfenstein. If you think banning Nazis is political, then what the fuck? So conspiracy TikTok is just slowly plunging deeper and deeper into insanity. Just let's take a look. POV when the receipt prints and you cringe a little, but grab it with your fingernails to avoid touching it with your skin. PSA everyone, receipts contain estrogens. Don't touch them. It's part of Joe Biden's plan to feminize our youth. That's why the catboys and femboys are everywhere. Well, oh, so if they did have estrogens in there, um, your, your, your average your average trans girl would just go to a CVS and buy one thing and roll around in the CVS receipt. Do you see how ridiculous you sound? Me, me, meet autistic girl. She's just like me, oh my god. Really into sci-fi, all right. Go on date. She keeps talking about internet stuff. Touch on anime. She suddenly asks what's a husbando and if it's like a male waifu. Yeah. Says her first husbando was General Grievous and how super cool he was. Conversation derails. Reveals to me that she has a robot fetish and wishes she could change her body to be taller and stronger and prettier. What, 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 what do I do now? Like, that was super awkward and, and I have no way to respond. Why are you complaining? You got exactly what you ordered. <laughs> like, buddy. <laughs> Friend. Pal. This is what you ordered. This is what you get. <laughs> Fun fact. Did you know that you could be a night owl and an early bird if your sleep schedule's messed up enough? Uh, <laughs> so, my circadian rhythm is, is fucked, by the way. I'm awake for 20 hours, and then I sleep for usually around seven to eight hours, which means my sleep schedule drifts every day slowly. And every now and then I have days where I go to bed at 9 a.m. and wake up at 5 p.m. It is, uh, it is fantastic, let me tell you what. I, I gotta say, I love the r slash flashlight community so much. Power outage at the grocery store. Big day for me. Registers on generator. Beam shots. Dude, you're living the dream. That moment where you pull out the flashlight and it makes you a hero. Ah, oh, god damn. 
Like, people, almost exclusively other guys will ask you where you got it, and you just get to talk about it. This is your moment. I'm not gonna lie, it was the highlight of my day. <laughs> I love power outages. I get to use my huge generator I paid a fortune for in my lights. I was hoping for one last night, but no luck. Yeah, same. I get disappointed when the power comes back. Oh boy, welcome to the outro. Welcome to hell. If you're uh, if you're one of my members, uh, give me give me some some slugs, <laughs> some slugs in the comments, please. That make my day. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll uh. I'll see y'all next time. Uh, oh, if you guys like this style of just covering whatever the hell I feel like, let me know.